hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to the CGTN live stream. I'm reporter Huang Fei, and you can see we're at a very picturesque location. This is the South China National mm. Botanical Garden. This is one of the largest subtropical botanical gardens in the world. And I'm standing outside a conservatory and this place has been leading efforts to conserve biodiversity for many decades and we're going to see a lot of examples of that but first of all I want to show you one example right here uh, this is called Hai Tian Shu uh, literally looks like wads of cash or like you know strings of coins that's why it's got the name uh, money tree um, so that's one of the interesting, uh, ex interesting looking or exotic looking uh, plants uh, we have here. But, um, if you follow me, uh, we can we'll see more examples of these rare and rare and exotic plants being conserved in this uh, greenhouse. So let's go. Right. So. Today, we have a special guest to tell us a little bit more about biodiversity protection. And she is Wang Ying, uh, Director of Horticulture Center here at the South China National Botanical Garden. Uh, Wang Ying, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, all the friends, dear friends, uh, online. And uh, uh, this is a uh, welcome to South China Botanical Garden and uh, South China uh, National Botanic Garden now. Uh, Thank you. Well, this this looks incredible. Um, and I'm already. Uh, do you do you want to give us a quick introduction of where we are? Okay, so we are in one of the uh, special sessions of our greenhouse conservatory area. So this whole area we have four sections right now: uh, forest, uh, uh, rainforest, uh, and desert, and the highland plant. This we are in. This is uh, called a uh, uh, rare, rare and exotic, exotic plant uh, greenhouse. Uh, yeah. Lovely. So so let's let's have a look at some of the rare and exotic plants. And I I can see on the floor. Uh, I think uh, your staff has just added these uh, displays. Uh, these some of these are endangered, right? Yes. Uh, uh, this one looks like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at from the certain uh, angle, and you can you can see this uh, looks like a, a dog head. And the name for this plant also called the hairy dog. Uh, this is a special fern. Uh, you can see uh, there's no spore at the back here. Uh, this is uh, the second uh, grade of protective plant in China. Right. And uh, this region, this part uh, is especially used for medicinal purpose. Right. Yeah. So I heard it, it could be used to stop bleeding, right? Yeah, especially this hair. Uh, this this uh, golden brownie hair. Right. Uh, yes. So the golden the golden retriever, as, uh -huh. as Chinese scientists call them, uh, is a, is a very popular medicinal plant, well known in uh, TCM uh, therapy, and that's why it's been picked and harvested, maybe over harvested in the wild, right? Yes, uh, especially in in Guangdong region, people like to use this uh, to boil soup. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yes. So, if you go to the uh, the supermarket or not the supermarket. Uh, the open market. If you go to the open market, uh, some of the farmers uh, will sell this uh, in the countryside. Oh wow! Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, this is one of the endangered plants, but we're, we're conserving it here. And what about uh, some of the, the others? Let's look at the the, the first one. Uh, oh wow! Amazing. So this one. Guess is... what it is. <laughs> This this looks like a giant coconut, but it's not, right? It's a it, seed. It, 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 it's a seed, but this is the world largest seed. It uh, belongs to the palm family. Uh, it is a, a close relative of coconut, mm. but uh, it's from seashell. Se uh, seashell. Se the country seashell. Uh, right. It's a national tree of seashell, and uh, the plant is very high. Mm. Um, it could be like uh, more than twenty meters. But the the seed can grow up to twenty to thirty kilogram. Wow! It could be bigger than this. This I is see. A kind of a medium size one. I see. Oh. So this is the, yeah. the world's largest and heaviest seed, and we're only looking at like a, a small version of it. <laughs> yeah. It guess how long this seed will ripe? Oh, how long does it take for for it to ripe? 
Yeah, ah, I don't know. Uh, eight years. Oh my God, that's a long time. <laughs> I was eight gonna years. Get yeah. yeah, it took about eight years for this seed to ripe, and then you can collect them, and then uh, it started. So seashore country is very special. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and and this uh, this this looks like an orna ornamental plant, but it's also right. We call we when we collect this in the wild. This is uh, the uh, the scientific name is called uh, Raphael Carpus. And it's from the special area of uh, um, Castor region. Castor yeah. region, usually people call those uh, stone desert. Desert. So it uh, has a lot of stone, a very little of soil, and uh, very uh, critical or, or very fragile environment. Mm, I see. Uh, this this one is from Hainan. If you look at that, this is our uh, uh, record for the collection record. So yeah, each one? each one of these each, plants? Each one of this plant will have a collection. See, this is from Hainan, uh, Changjiang. Mm -hmm. And this one, sorry, this one is from uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam, right. Vietnam. So yeah. everybody has a, a, each each one of these plants have a barcode. Uh, yes. Uh, each one has a barcode. It shows the name, uh, when it was collected, and where it is from, and what's the name. So this is a 2018, 2018. Uh, collection. I see. Yeah. Very, very well documented. And I, and yes. I heard uh, from one of your uh, conservatives yesterday that, that, you know, one of the reasons we're uh, moving these endangered plants to the conservatory is that it gives us more time, buys us more time to study uh, yes. its value, yeah. including the fact that, as you said, it, it was uh, found in a cast region. And, and some of these leaves, I believe, contain a lot of calcium right organic calcium. oh yeah organic calcium that's another point uh, some of the plants in this family um, people can eat as vegetable so a high high level of calcium uh, right so yes. and that's easier for for our our bodies to absorb right yes uh, mm. so um, this is a uh, this two are the same it belongs to the same genus it's called aristolochia yeah. Uh, and uh, this is a collection, and this is uh, from Hainan. This is also from Hainan. Uh, the reason we show them here, uh, one reason is the flower is very different, uh, very special. You see the shape of the flower. There's a tube, but the tube, there's a curve of the tube. You see yeah. that? Yeah. You see that? And, and the, the inside of the pad, this is a um, paddle. The paddle are formed together to form a tube. Wow. And the tube is curved. Uh, and um, another reason for displaying this is um, um, this plant has a special compound called AAS. Uh, mm. So it's uh, aristolochic acid. Right. Uh, so it's a special compound. This compound is very poisonous. Oh, okay. <laughs> so probably we shouldn't, shouldn't touch it. <laughs> well, you can touch it. Just don't eat that. Okay, <laughs> don't I eat see. That. Yeah. Um, um, so this is another another rare plant. Yeah, this is a very rare plant. The name for this uh, this is the Latin name Paramaria. Uh, the reason this you can see here this is from uh, Xishuang Bai Na. Mm. Uh, this yeah. is from our tropical region and mm. was collected in 2011. And the reason we show this here uh, one is because you see, look at the the flower. The flower is very tiny but it's very small uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very showy, the color and the shape of that and the fluorescence is a group of the flower here. And uh, it doesn't have the fruit here, but mm. if um, later on we have the fruit, the fruit will form like a necklace of pearl. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it has a, like a little pearl, little pearl, and there's a stem uh, connect them. So. Lovely. Yeah. Um, so, so these these plants, it's it's important to note that, as you said, they're not just ornamental. They're not just interesting to look at. Uh, mm -hmm. These are. It's important for us to preserve the gene pool, the genetic material, and uh, it buys us more time to study their value. A lot of the values we still don't understand yet. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So let's uh, keep let's uh, start uh, from this two. This two trees uh, uh, is called the calabash tree. Uh, these two trees are sister species, uh, but uh, interestingly, we have uh, this one fruit uh, every year, but the other one, uh, it's very rarely we'll have the fruit, but these two are spe sister species. Uh, 
The interesting thing of this uh, is uh, it flowers on the stem, main stem. You see that? Oh, this right. This is a very typical character of a tropical uh, tree or tropical fruit, and uh, this uh, look like papaya. Yeah, yeah, they do look like papaya. So yeah. it's good. in Chinese, the Chinese name called Arn uh, Papaya. Yeah, and that one has a round fruit. It's uh, the common name uh, is called Arn. Uh, watermelon. <laughs> yeah, I see iron watermelon. Yeah. yeah, it is pretty unusual to see flowers yeah. growing from the stem. And the flower opens at night. Oh, it needs a fertilizer uh, to help them to to form the to have the fruit. Yeah, yeah. and and those look like uh, beards. Uh, those look like uh, the old man. We call old. the common name for that is old man's mustache. Mustache. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, it is not like a real mustache. It belongs <laughs> to the pineapple family. Oh. Yeah, I will introduce. Maybe we can introduce this later together with other pineapple re sure. releases. Uh, and uh, uh, after that, so we just mentioned this is a uh, like looks like papaya, right? Yeah. We will have a real papaya here. Oh, cool. But it's different from the. Uh, regular papaya. Regular papaya, when the papaya is not ripe, it's green color, right? Yeah. When it ripes, it's yellow color. Yeah. But this one, it's the opposite. Uh, no, it's all the time. It's yellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's yellow the whole time. We call all. this golden papaya. Golden uh, papaya. Golden papaya. Oh. And the shape is a little bit different. It looks like a cylinder shape. Yeah. Yeah. They look a little bit even even. Uh, a little bit like bananas, but but not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And, and the leaves, uh, the leaf stem uh, has a purple uh, purple color. Right. Yeah. This and is different from the regular papaya. Where is this from? Also from Yunnan. This is very special. Uh, Flower. Right now, we categorize this as a flower species. Mm. Uh, it's naturally the net the native habitat is from Yunnan, mm. uh, and uh, the distribution area is Yunnan, Guangdong, Guangxi, uh, these regions. Right. But the special character for this is you can see here. These are the uh, bracket bracket. These are not the real petal. This is a we call the flower. But it's not real petal, mm. flower petal. Uh, this is bracket. Um, oh. And uh, when it started to, to flower, you can see here, we call this flower. So uh, it keep grows for a long time. Yeah, this one says stays in bloom for eight months. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And, yeah. and it's also a medicinal herb. It's, uh, yes, people use this uh, uh, in the countryside. Also, this flower is very special because it's related to the Buddhism, the religion. I see. It's one of uh, the major Buddhism flower. Actually, uh, we saw the Buddha uh, sit on the lotus, right? Yes. Th that lotus should be this one. It's not oh, a real lotus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> That's interesting. So yeah. this is this is the the Buddha's. Uh, yeah, but, and this uh, belongs to the ginger family, uh, right. ginger racy, ginger family. And we have a whole collection uh, of uh, ginger species, related species. Uh, the reason we have them here because uh, back outside this uh, uh, conservatory area, we have a special garden called the Ginger Garden, mm. and our Ginger Garden has a collection for more than four hundred different species. Wow! Here we only show a couple interesting species or special species. Yeah. You can see that one. You see, oh, you one. see that one. Uh, yeah. You have. We have. Uh, um, this is a uh, called. This is a uh, belongs to Musa genus, mm. Musa genus, and it called uh, Thousand Finger Musa. <laughs> uh. This also looks a bit religious for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the young fruit, and, oh, right. and uh, here the the flowers still keep going. You so see that? Uh, is yeah. it unusual for the fruit and the flower to happen at the same time? Uh, yes. Uh, but a euro thing is it has so many fruits on it. Yeah, usually it won't have this many uh, little little fruits. Yeah, there's another one up there as well. That one is uh, is is uh, similar to our banana. This right. one. Oh, I this mean, one is kind I of mean, a typical banana shaped. Oh, this one. Oh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, from yeah. from. Um, 
from this angle, I mean, it kind of looks looks a little intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's going to engulf you. <laughs> uh, but it's really interesting. Is is this edible or no? Edible. Oh wow! Uh, it is edible, and uh, it's the fruit for tropical like monkey or bird. Uh, yeah, when it's ripened, it's, although it's very small, but it, it is edible. Wow. And it has a lot of seeds inside. Yeah, so good, good nutritionist yeah. meals for uh, for forest animals. Yeah. Oh, this this one was interesting. This one is interesting. These are this looks like pink bananas. It, the name for that is uh, similar to the pink banana, but usually you, when you look at the banana shaped uh, pine. Uh, uh, Banana shaped uh, fruit, mm. it's like that. Mm. The fruit will grow down, uh, pointing down to the ground. Yeah. But this one, it never burns. Mm. Uh, the fruit stem, it won't curve to the. It, it just directly uh, shooting to the. Yeah, it goes up. Yeah. Um, so, so the fruit. So we're looking at the fruit at the bottom, but the flowers. The flowers on top. Yeah. Actually, you see here, this is a real flower. That's the bracket. Oh, the real flower is here. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and they, they feel... They feel very, hairy? Like, yeah, hairy. <laughs> <laughs> is this also edible? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, wow. Most of the... Uh, actually, a lot of the species uh, in ginger family are edible, and mm. especially Musa, uh, Musa's genus. Is this a protective species or is it quite common? No, this is not common in China, mm, uh, but common. it's common in the south southern Asian countries, uh, tropical see. region. Yeah. So this the is... regular banana is like this, but the banana is bigger. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we just show this as a control. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a contrast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a normal one. We just yeah. saw the abnormal. Yeah. Abnormal one. So that's why this uh, whole greenhouse called the rare and exotic plant. I see. So uh, these are also. Uh, this are also one type of the the, the similar uh, ginger, ginger family. family. Yeah. Mm. Here, this one is special. This is a uh, we call this one type of the flower is uh, like leafy flower. Mm. Uh, it's like uh, the you know the uh, Christmas flower. Mm. The Christmas flower is just the, the leaves are red color, yeah. but this uh, is also called uh, uh, the leafy flower. It's called the uh, villa, Bogen villa. So they look like leaves, but but they feel they feel like flowers. They're very very fra fragile. No, here is soft. a picture. Actually, outside uh, you will see this. Uh, mm. uh, this is a leaf, but uh, when you look at the far from some distances, uh, you will see. Looks like the flower, and here, the real flower is here. <laughs> mm. And it says this one's uh, native to South America. So are we yes. working uh, with countries in South America to to collect we these have species? A, we have a collaboration with a country like uh, Colombia, uh, and and uh, we have people go to the Amazon region for the wild collection wow. and the wild uh, explanation uh, exploration. Yeah, very and in, very interesting job. Yeah. And uh, let's see this plant. This plant, the leaves are very special. You can see uh, there's a white area mm. on the edge of the leaves. This is called a crinum lily. Mm. Um, this plant is also related to the Buddhism and wow. uh, Buddhism, Manjuri Buddhism, and uh, means uh, great wisdom. And people, <laughs> usually people have like a Students, uh, they will go to high school or go to the college uh, for exams, uh, and their right. parents will go to the temple to pray for the for this Buddha. Uh, right. So, do we see a lot of these plants being sort of the ceremonial flowers inside temples? People present them. Um, it depends on some temples. area. Uh, south, southern part of the country, it can grow outside, but northern part of the country is too cold. Yeah. It won't grow outside. This is also similar as that one, uh, yeah. the crinum lily. But uh, you see here, the, can you look at the, uh, the, the flower stem? Oh. The flower stem is purple. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, when you flower. look up, 
to the flower. The flower is not white. It also has the purple petals. And yeah. Yep. So why are we uh, Sorry. working so Sorry? hard to preserve all these different species? Well, one reason is um, for this greenhouse, we want to show the special plant to our uh, um, to our friends, to our uh, citizens, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a uh, for uh, introduction for worldwide plant. Mm -hmm. Another reason, just like uh, you mentioned, that we hope to preserve this plant. And uh, maybe some plants are not usable at this moment, mm. but uh, we, we will study them mm. uh, and we will find either their ornamental purpose or they have some kind of medicinal purpose, yeah. uh, something like that. So, yeah. And even um, they don't have a special usage right, right now, mm. they have a scientific value. For example, we have people working on the ginger species, yeah. uh, ginger family, ginger ricci species. And for people working on the systematics, we have uh, uh, several scientists in our institute. Our scientists will study all the species in this uh, family hmm. or genus. Hmm. And they need to uh, sorting out how each species are related to each other I and see. their relation. Uh, so that's their scientific value. Unless, mm. so before you study any species, you need to know their scientific name mm. and how they are related to each other and how they are related to known species, something like that. Yeah. I see. So, um, and I think we're we are looking in the at aloe area. area. In the aloe oh, area. Aloe. <laughs> area. <laughs> this is uh, the special. This is the highest uh, tree of uh, aloe. This is also called the tree aloe. Mm. Uh, usually, the aloes are like this, a perennial. On the uh, ground. On the ground. <laughs> but this is from Africa. Right. Yeah. So, aloe that grows on the trees. Uh, that's this the is first called time. tree aloe. Tree not aloe. aloe grows on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's tree aloe. Yeah, tree this, aloe. this is definitely the first time I've ever yeah. seen. And this is our this. regular aloe. We use them for um, okay. functional food or right. for like. Uh, People use this cosmetics, for the yeah? cosmetic. Yeah, yeah, that's a very popular. You can um, you can peel this moisturizer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a moisturizer, very good moisturizer. Uh, you can peel this, get rid of the, uh, yeah. the hard part. Yeah, and the inside. Yeah. Right, but so you you moved you uh, moved this tree aloe um, from Africa. Africa, we imported this. You imported. Uh, uh, hmm. Some of the plants uh, we import them directly uh, from the original region. Uh, we have a close collection, uh, we have a close uh, uh, relationship or collaboration with the customs, uh, uh, customs office. Mm. And we have quarantine greenhouse uh, in oh. our uh, institute. So wow. all the foreign plants uh, come into the China, especially to the Guangzhou customs. Yeah. Uh, once uh, they come to our customs uh, after inspection, uh, comes to our quarantine greenhouse. Wow. And after a certain period, we will move them out uh, from the quarantine. I had no house. idea yeah. plants also needed quarantine. How long, <laughs> how long do they need to Not quarantine? Not from the COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> from the pest and fungi. I see. So how long uh, is the quarantine period? It depends. Depend? Uh, sometimes it will like a couple months. Uh, sometimes they will need a year or more than a year. Wow. Uh, usually we will uh, we have to to see until the like uh, flowers or they have seeds, uh, especially uh, for a certain time. After a certain time, we'll see if they have a special pest or special disease or something like that. That's, right. that's the main reason we quarantine them uh, mm. in, in the quarantine greenhouse. Yeah. And uh, don't you see the very different shape, yeah. different color of the leaves? Yes, yes, <laughs> very colorful. Yeah. So this region is uh, the Araceae family. Araceae family uh, here, this, uh, this region uh, is called um, Sandapsus. Sandapsus, hmm. and uh, this this species is very special. I will introduce this later. And most of this is, uh, plant, uh, the species belongs to uh, Phyllodendra. Phyllodendra, this is a genus name, and you can see here. 
The mm. Chinese name is called Man Lu Rong uh, mm. because uh, the reason we give this name because uh, uh, when you touch the mm. uh, the leaves, when you touch the leaves, uh, it is a uh, it's like um, one of the fiber. Uh, 像, don't don't you feel it's like a silk? Yeah, yeah, silk, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Feels very yeah. smooth and silky. silky. Mm. Uh, yeah. And let's come to this uh, species. This is called moonlight. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel it like it's more flat than than this one. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely noticed the beautiful names you have here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when you look at this at night, uh, it have it, it will reflect the moonlight. Oh, very sh- I see. A little bit shiny. That's in, why. At night. <laughs> That's why it's called Black yeah. Soya Gong Blue uh-huh. Moonlight. And this area uh, mostly belongs to the Philodendra genus. And uh, if you look at the leaves, mm. they look like paper cuts. But, <laughs> <laughs> but these are this is a naturally legs. natural paper cut. Wow. It's a special belong. Uh, the reason for it's like that is because there is a special mechanism for the leaf development. Uh, the uh, on the edge here, it form uh, the special uh, tissue, so it comes to like this hole. And uh, we will have uh, two more species down there. You will see. Did you? Oh, can uh, you see that? that? Those are bigger <laughs> paper cuts. <and> <laughs> <laughs> Wow, these that are one. really interesting. Yeah, and you, if you compare that one with this one, can you see the difference? That the one col- with this one. Oh, okay. So, so they're like just different. If different if, types of if it's connected here, then yeah. it's look like that, yeah, right? Yeah. But, but here, they're not connected. Uh, they are not connected. So, oh. yeah. So, there is, so these are the leaf like- development. Uh, uh, it's controlled by some kind of uh, regulatory gene or regulatory system. So some of the leaves will grow like that and then broke here. But some of the leaves, they will keep the connection there. Interesting. Uh, These yeah. are always like botched paper cuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, but and, and this one, it has a special curve like that. But some of the, the leaves, it's like that. So the mm. on the leaf edge, this curve is... Uh, uh, it's a little much less than this one when you compare that. This is such yeah. a great example of biodiversity. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. And uh, this is called the crocodile, golden crocodile, common uh-huh. name. Uh, philodendron. It also, also belongs to philodendron uh, genus. Crocodiles. Golden crocodile. And uh, we will see, you, you saw some of them, small ones over there. Mm. Uh, this is also golden uh, crocodile. And... Um, this is uh, like a beautiful painting. I mean, uh, we, we read reports that uh, nearly a million uh, animal and plant species are facing extension, many of yes. them within decades. About one third of the plants. Wow. Uh, one third of all one, plants on Earth are facing extinction. Are facing, not extinction. It depends different how, la- how, how different the level of their extinction. Mm. Uh, some like uh, in China, we call them uh, level first, level mm. one, level mm. two. Mm. Uh, like uh, first or second protect. If they are the most rarest one or most dangerous one, uh, it belongs to the level, uh, the first level. Yeah. I see. And so, the work you're doing is uh, absolutely crucial. And uh, do you like this? This looks what, what like. What this uh, looks like? <laughs> this looks like an like, eye. Yeah. <laughs> we call this eye on the tree. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is also belongs to RAC family. Yeah, you see, see. that the, the the leaf shape is like that. Yeah. Actually, um, this is uh, the reason it comes to this is because when the leaves fall down, mm. uh, when the leaves fall down, uh, you, the eye, it, it they comes expose to, the to eyes. Ex- yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, this says it's native to Brazil, mm-hmm. also South America. Yeah. Hmm. So turn around. Let's look at this one. Uh, okay. Although this plant looks. Uh, uh, this is called very special plant called jade vine. Oh, jade vine. Yeah, jade vine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's not the blooming time. It's not the flowering time yet. Uh, yeah. Until maybe uh, two months later. I see. If, when, if you come back later, you will see the flowers. But here is a picture. Hmm. Uh, the reason it called jade vine because uh, 
very rarely a uh, flower is green color. Yeah. But this one is a green color flower. Right. Yeah. So this this is what the flower looks like. Yeah, and uh, the flower looks like a bird. Yeah. Uh, we call really this a uh, birdie flower. Uh, we have uh, uh, eight eight different species, uh, six different colors of uh, the like uh, close related different close related sister species uh, of this. Mm. Strongly loaded. Uh, we, we, the common name is jade vine. Yeah. So we are so, just to um, the it will. For, it will well, comes out like uh, in, in, uh, fall, uh, at the bottom of the the vines. I see. Yeah. So they're a little. Two months later. Two months. We're, we're <laughs> two, two months, months later. early. <laughs> <laughs> we are too early. <laughs> we're too early. Now uh, we see a little bit of uh, color, purple yeah, colors. We see this one um, is belongs to Archaeaceae uh, family, but uh, most of the uh, species in this genus is is vine. Mm. Like vine plants, like that. Mm. But this is a bushy plant, mm. so that's why we show this here. And and also the flower shape is very special. Mm. You see this, this like three petals trumpets. are bigger, and these two petals are smaller, mm. and this tube are kind of flat. You you mm. you, sh you feel that? Yeah, it's not flat. real round. Uh, usually the flower, this uh, petal tube, uh, this is round, but mm. this is flat, and it shows a. Uh, uh, Mm. So it must be really interesting learning how, you know, what kind of genes contribute to oh, if their it comes special. To the, this kind of biodiversity, <laughs> uh, is, there's so many questions, uh, scientific questions are still um, we need to dig out, we, we need, need to so study. Much to answer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, I see this one says poisonous plant, so <laughs> I should probably stay away from this. Well, uh, <laughs> No, actually the flower is very beautiful, but, right. but this is not the flowering time. Okay. And the shape of the flower, there's a, a like a circle, like a, the, um, how to say this, uh, circleized. Uh, mm, yeah. Circle flowers, circle, but, yeah. but this one says uh, it's it poisonous. It is poisonous, right. Yes. Um, and uh, here is uh, one plant, a uh, typical plant uh, from... Uh, Mosquito, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Typical plant from Australia. Oh wow! Yeah, it's called bottle uh, bottle brush. Bottle brush. Bottle brush. They there really do look flower. like bottle brushes. Yes, here. If you look at there, that, mm. uh, on the on the back there, uh, and uh, oh, the flowers. The, yeah, the, the flowers. The, uh, uh, it comes uh, like a fluorescence. Uh, many flowers. Uh, it look, do looks like a bottle brush. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it's very typical in Australia. People use this uh, for uh, planting in the yard or uh, near the street. Uh, and see. very resistant uh, to drought. Uh, yeah. I think I read articles uh, on some foreign websites saying that uh, family gardens are actually, you know, good places to help preserve biodiversity as well. People um, like to plant. Uh, Actually, in this the uh, belongs to the uh, Myrtaceae. Myrtaceae, mm -hmm. this family has many species. Uh, some are uh, fruit, tropical fruit, and uh, some are uh, people use that for the special use. Especially, we did find that one of our scientists, uh, Professor Chu, mm -hmm. and his group has discovered their special compound ah. for uh, antibacteria. Oh, uh, wow. Antibacterial. And uh, right now, we also study that for antivirus per function. The antivirus effect is pretty good. Yeah, uh, especially in light of what's happening <laughs> in the last three years. Oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so one more uh, medicinal plant. Uh, I, I th yeah, I think it's interesting to, to learn about the different values of these plants. Uh, yeah, you see this sh very showy flower? Uh, mm. This is uh, called a hibic, uh, his, his, his mm. hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus. Very, very uh, yeah. showy. <laughs> and uh, we have another plant uh, down the street over here. It's, uh, uh, this is only one layer of the paddle, mm. you see here. Mm. And uh, the other plant, just, just that. You see that orange color one? 
This the one? The orange color one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. these are double, double yeah. deck. <laughs> double deck. I think I saw so one. This oh, hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus. Here we go. So, sorry. I, hibiscus. So here um, you see they have a multiple layer of uh, mm -hmm. the flowers, uh, of the petal. And the reason for that is because uh, uh, here, this is a pistol region. The it's, it, there's a mutation. Uh, oh, so it's a, it's the same species but different variations. Different cultivar. Different cultivar. Uh, different cultivar. Uh, that right. one is uh, like a single layer. Uh, I yeah. see. I think I saw just next to the the first one. There's a zebra looking. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's very interesting. Actually, you can call that a zebra. Uh, Araceae species. So this also belongs to that uh, Araceae family. Yeah, here. Y when you look at the leaf stem, it does like a zebra. Yeah. <laughs> the name also called the uh, zebra. Zebrina. <laughs> That's the how they they gave the name. I see. Usually the plant uh, got a name based on their appearance their appearance uh, <laughs> either the flower or the leaves or the fruits uh, yeah right okay. interesting more paper cuts here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, this let's see this is the bottle brush this is our uh, hibiscus and uh, we, want, uh, see we can more old man's uh, mustache oh, again. I can show you this. This uh, is. Uh, uh, do we have a picture somewhere? Here. No, this is yeah. a name badge. Right. So the flower of this. Uh, this is a hoya. Mm. Hoya. Hoya has a very st a special structure of the flower. The flower is look like a ball. Ah. Uh, that's why we call the common name is a ball ball orchid. Uh, ball orchid. Yeah. Right. So the are they like hydrangeas or no? No. Different. They are they are really they like uh, orchid. Yeah. The the leaves uh, looks like that. Yeah. Ah, so there's a picture somewhere. Anyway, I'll show you the picture later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, look at the the flower of this. This is also special. Hmm. Uh, wow. Passion it's fruit. Very, Did you eat yeah. passion fruit? <laughs> yes, I love yeah. passion you, you, fruit. You, li you like the passion fruit? <laughs> oh, I love you like so the much. sour one? You like the sweet ones? I like the sweet ones. <laughs> the golden so ones. The golden ones is the, the sweet one. This is uh, also one species of the passion. Not really. The, the two form the fruit, but it's very small. We mm. call this passion flower. Passion the flower. Well, definitely very passionate colors <laughs> here. Uh, this one flower has seven different colors. Oh, wow. It comes from the pistol here. Uh, this is stamen and stamen, so, and white color, and green, purple, uh, green, uh, pink, and uh, purple, white. And uh, this is dark red, and the sample is a little bit lighter red. Yeah, so seven colors seven in one color. flower. Yeah. That is beautiful. And the white the, is just the, so white, right? Yeah. So clean. Uh -huh. yeah. It's incredible. It has a name, a common name or for like a seven color flower. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is mainly for ornamental purpose. This is not for the fruit. It has different color, like you, the... Uh, the sour pa passion fruit, uh, mm. the color is uh, uh, purple, it's not red. And right. there is a pink, uh, red, pink, purple, uh, and a little bit greenish. Yeah. Mm. There's some other, other bright colored uh, flowers I'll show here. you one real special flower. You can only come, uh, you can only see them at night. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So here, you you saw that there's a it's bloom. It's not really flowering. It's, right. So these are it's, little buds, just yeah. buds. You see the bud, and mm. there's a. And mm. uh, uh, this is a, the name for this plant is called corn beef wood. Mm. Corn beef wood. Um, it ha we have uh, several cultivars of this. Like one is a uh, red color. 
One is a uh, white color, pure white color. Mm. Uh, uh, only blooms at night. Oh, this wow. uh, this is very close, actually. Uh, very close. Maybe another two days or three days, uh, it will bloom at night. If you look at the uh, the, the other tree at the back over mm. there, yeah, uh, there's more uh, buds. Uh, it will come out. Right. So yeah. so so when they so they blossom at night. But so mm. what happens when the sun comes out? Do they they close? Close. The flower oh, wow. close. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, here is uh, another flower, also open at night, close uh, mm. uh, at the daylight. Yeah, so, so they're like is... vampires. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this, this is called uh, moonlight cactus right. or moon cactus. Mm. Uh, it, uh, you see, this is our, that's the leaf. Mm. Uh, it is a cact belongs to cactus, uh, uh, that big family. Uh, cactus. See, see the, this, this is the flower. I mean, when we hear cactus, we think mm -hmm. desert, but this is not really. This is not. This is from the uh, like a dry uh, region, but re not really desert. Mm. Yeah. There are so. several close related species of this. We have. Uh, we used to have two. One is this, uh, uh, and uh, the other one is very pure white. This mm. is a little bit yellowish. Yeah, you see that. Uh, but uh, the, we have another species that has pure so, white. Yeah. Mm. Do you, Do you guys open at night? Because uh, there's so <laughs> many <laughs> flowers are open, that are only blooming at night. Come, come tonight, you will see this flower open. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Uh, let's come to this way. Okay. Yeah. Um, so our left. This side, uh, we have a special collection of uh, uh, exotic fruit, especially tropical fruit. Uh, for mm. example, mm. this one called mami, uh, mamiya fruit. Mm. Uh, the fruit is uh, like, uh, like, like mango, mm -hmm. but the flavor is different. Uh, and especially, it, the flower comes out on the main stem too. This is awesome. a tropical fruit, uh, typical character. Yeah. Right. I see. I learned something now. <laughs> tropical <laughs> fruits. Uh, tropical fruit. Tropical fruits. Tropical trees. Tropical trees uh, uh, have their flowers uh, come out on stems. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um, and this is a called uh, rice cake fruit. <laughs> yeah. Although it, here, here, it has flower, but the fruit is not ripened yet. This, this is a right. flower. Yeah. Rice cake. Yeah. Right. Another another new source of nutrition for uh, for monkeys and <laughs> um, for animals, animals, right? Uh, uh, did you eat uh, the waxy apple? No. Lianwu. No, I haven't. You haven't. Tried. Ah. I haven't so tried. Uh, that that tree, that tree is a uh, one cultivar of uh, waxy apple. Mm. Oh. Uh, the we have another tree back, back, back there. It's it's pure white waxy apple, Lian Wu. Wow. Uh, very special. Yeah. And this tree, um, this is also belongs to uh, Mertesi, Mertesi AC, Mertesi AC. Mm. Um, and uh, here you can see. There's flowers here. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like a grape. Right. Uh, got it? Yeah. How do you remember all these uh, <laughs> different species? You must uh, like it a oh, lot. I forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> Did you got it? It's fascinating. But mm. we have uh, uh, many professors that they can remember a lot of Latin names. Wow. <laughs> um, and this is a uh, one cultivar of the waxy apple. Uh, the, the, usually the whole leaves are green. Uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, leaves uh, with different colors uh, on, mm. on the leaves. Uh, so this can, could be used uh, for ornamental mm. and uh, fruit. Ah, uh, your purpose, your usage. Right, because I read that apparently 
half of the world's economy depends on biodiversity or are, are sort of somehow linked to, you know, to nature. And so yes. it's very important to learn about these plants and how, you know, our lives or basically the fundamentals of human existence depend on uh, well-balanced ecosystems. Yes. And I think this is um, an example of that. This is a good example for uh, the biodiversity of both plant and animal. Hmm. Uh, actually, this is a special collection of ant plants. In the world, there is a statistic called, uh, shows uh, about 2,000 plant species uh, have a close relationship with ant. So wow. the ant will come to the plant mm. and make a nest, mm. and then the, um, the, the ant uh, will form kind of a certain nutrition mm. to the plant. So the I plant see. and the ant, they depend on each other. Uh, right. So this is a very good example for the coexistence, um, coexistence and uh, also for the uh, the the native balance uh, between plant and the animals. Yeah, yeah. These are important uh, questions and dialogues to have, especially on the sideline of uh, COP fifteen, right? Um, yes. Where you know yes, delegates yes. from about two hundred countries are getting together. Yeah. to um, to fix our relation fix humans relationship with nature basically yeah here uh, i'll show you three different uh, species uh, mm. of uh, very special plant here mm. you need to look down oh uh, so this uh, this this one is uh, See here, I, how I remember the Latin name. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pilia, uh, yeah. pilia species. Uh, the leaves are very tiny. Mm. And uh, see here, this one. This one, uh, this one has a uh, very special, they, they will show like a blue, a little bit bluey light yeah. or bluey reflection of the light. Oh. So uh, yeah, this is a, a satellite. Like, Salaginella. Salaginella. Mm. Oh. So they also kind of reflect the moonlight, I suppose. Uh, not really headlight. moonlight, but in the shady area, ah. in the tropical region or subtropical, usually the tropical region. Mm. Yeah. And uh, can you see this? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's how the plant. So how the plant are stick to the rock and uh -huh. here here you see that well they really the, 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 this is how this is uh the special organ they grow ah, i see so they're see just here? like kind of latching on to yeah the <laughs> they will grab uh, whatever uh, either the rock or yeah. yeah so this is a very special um mm. kind of environment so this is a uh, moth this is moth Mm, how and important is moss? Cause, uh, moss? Moss is very important. Uh, so in the humid, uh, actually moss, can we can discover moss in lots of different regions from the northern area to the southern area, uh, e even in the uh, close to the North Pole and the South Pole, we will find oh. a very cold region, very humid, hot region, you, you can find moss. Mm, yeah. So they're very adaptive. Yeah. And here, this is not a regular stone. We, this is a volcanic stone. Mm. We use this stone and uh, we have the spray. This is a water spray. Mm. Uh, the water will come here, will form a very humid environment. Oh. So actually, this moss can grow naturally. It's mm. been here for more than 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking at a piece of history. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Very cool. And this place is uh, it's obviously open to tourists as well. Yes, um, oh. it's uh, open every day. Every day, <laughs> no. seven days a week. Seven days a week, every day. Uh, right. But except last, uh, no, 10 days later, uh, 10 days ago, yeah. we had a COVID-19 problem <laughs> and we were forced uh, to close. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that uh, as, be careful, be as, careful. The, oh. as we open up, uh -huh. people can now come in and, and visit uh -huh. and learn about these rare and wonderful plants.
Uh, yes. We're standing uh, under a coconut tree. <laughs> yes. If you look up, you can see the big coconut fruit up there. Yeah. This is a typical coconut tree. Yeah. And this uh, coconut has been up there for more than two years. Mm. <laughs> we didn't pick them. Yeah. <laughs> so some uh, little kids will come here. They will say, ah, the coconut, the real <laughs> coconut on the tree. This, <laughs> this is the coconut on the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These, some of these colors are this so This is beautiful. called yellow IP. So um, the reason for, we don't see the flower yet, but you can see the picture there. Hmm. It's uh, the flower ah. shape is very special. It's like a bell. Yeah, uh, it's a yellow bell, uh, and it's a woody uh, plant. It's called. It's used a lot for landscaping right now. Yeah, if absolutely. You have a, a, <laughs> if if you have a, a whole area of this tree, it's very amazing. Absolutely, yeah. it's beautiful, mm. and uh, I think in a in a in a couple months time, probably. Uh, when does when do they usually grow? I think it's kind uh, of spring. Spring, right? Spring. Okay. Like usually, spring. the flower comes out. Uh, we have a uh, yellow flower. We have purple flower. Um, we're outside. We have a uh, uh, purple flower and the pink flower. Mm. Yeah. yeah, those are definitely. All uh, over the internet, <laughs> once once they are in blossom, all over the uh, the city, people yes. like to fly drones over, and you see yes. just yes, and, and uh, outside the the airport mm. on that uh, what what's the name for the street? I forgot. <laughs> yeah, outside the airport. So this section uh, from the right to the left, uh, uh, here we have uh, several very like uh, special ones. Mm. We collect them in the greenhouse but here uh, uh yeah this both the left hand side this region we have a special um display for the pineapple family mm. yeah pineapple pineapple family. yeah pineapple family mm. just uh, remember at the beginning yeah. of our live show i yeah. asked uh, which family uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here yeah. is the mustache plant right so this belongs to the pineapple family and uh, here are also the species uh, in the pineapple family. So, uh, what what are these uh, mustaches for for the for for the plant? Do they absorb water? They or? absorb water from the humid air, uh, ah. and then they can grow. Usually, for this dry air, probably it won't grow that well. Right. But uh, a little bit humid in the tropical region, uh, they will <laughs> grow. And yeah. it's very good for landscaping. They're definitely really beautiful to look at, especially with the sun coming through. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, if you look at this, the all this belongs to the uh, pineapple family. Hmm. And uh, the, really this is the flower. Uh, oh, wow. And this is the leaf. Mm. You see the leaves uh, sometimes. You can, you can see that. Uh, at the er very end of the leaf, there is a tiny pad. Tiny uh, Bike. Yeah. <laughs> and there's so much water in the, in the middle of uh, these. Yeah, because... Uh, it's good for water retention. Right? We have a special um, collection, oh, actually, a special garden of pineapple family outside. So this is a flower, right? Yeah, this is a flower. Yeah. Beautiful. You can see the shape of the leaves and the color of the leaves, very showy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think have we have we come to and, the uh, uh, yeah did I oh, these did are I the see orchids? the story of Bulgari? Not yet. Not yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, see here. Uh, yeah. So this is a very typical Bulgari. Also belongs to a RAC family. Mm. Yeah. See see that? Uh, the 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 the, the, the leaves are very different. You can see there are like a hairy spike like. Uh, or yeah. needle like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you see on the side from the side mm. you can see that and mm. the color of the leaf uh, is very beautiful mm. yeah. we have a lot of collection for <laughs> um for for leaf uh, leafy flower leafy or flowers. leafy uh, plant yeah and this is a great place for the for the public to learn 
Oh yeah. About yeah. biodiversity and even I come in uh, every day. Usually I will find out uh, a certain thing is very uh, unique. Sometimes I come in, I see, oh, this this flower, I never saw the flower, and now this year it comes to flower. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Uh, yeah. The learning so, never stops. Uh, the pineapple family, there are more plants, especially this plant. Uh, this plant is the king. Wow. It's the biggest one. Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, huge. And yeah. again, it's like a whole pond, little p uh, pool of water oh, in, yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why um, the pineapple special garden uh, it has a lots of mosquitoes. <laughs> I see. I think uh, because the the yeah like the little, little petal of the water uh, the, the mosquitoes will grow there. Ah, now I now I know where the mosquitoes Sorry about are that, coming but from. <laughs> no worries. I was wondering what, where where did the mosquitoes come from? Yeah, this is definitely a, a feast for the <laughs> for the mosquitoes. Um, and, and here, this is also uh, the belongs to the pineapple family. Mm. You can see the flower is very different uh, from this ones and mm. those and, and that. I mean, China is definitely one of the most biodiverse countries in the world, right? We have one third uh, of. Uh, yeah, we have one, no, one no, third sorry, of the one tenth, one tenth, one tenth of, of the, the whole world's plant species. The whole world there are about forty uh, thousand different species. Right. Uh, we, we have thirty-seven thousand. Thir thir sorry, four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. We have uh, uh, thirty, more than thirty thousand different species. Yeah. yeah, and I and I heard that uh, the South China Bota National Botanical Garden wanted to. Uh, bring the number of uh, ex situ uh, conservation, conservation plants to uh, 20,000? Up, up to 20,000 species. Right now, uh, our species number is close to uh, 12,000. Mm. Close to 12,000. And see. Uh, uh, the Texas number, we have about uh, 18,000. Right. So there are some like uh, cultivars, lots of cultivars. Like for example, this species, there are four cultivars, uh, something like that. Yeah. I see. So, so if you want to uh, bring our audience to the last plant. The last, the plant, last plant will be this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is called elk horn fern. Oh, yeah. yeah. They do look like an elk horn. <laughs> but yeah. if you look at any split, you can hear. At every split, uh, it comes out two. See, yeah. here is two, and if you look at this, here is two, and this yeah. is two, and yeah. this is two, this is two. Uh, so, so this <laughs> is called like a mathematical elk. mathematical miracle uh, <laughs> on, on these plants. And uh, this wall is made from volcan uh, volcanic rock. Also uh, volcanic volcanic rocks. rocks. So rocks. And um, interesting. That's the reason we can have uh, this alcohol fern grow on them. And we have uh, seven different type of uh, alcohol mm. fern here. If wow. you look at uh, here, uh, like this one. <laughs> can you see the difference yeah. from this one and that one? This is more uh, slender looking. Uh, beside that, you can yeah. look at that. There's a, what's this underneath? It's so you can, you see this alcohol, um, this bracket, large bracket, it grows upside, ah. right? This one grows downside, right? Yeah, and ah. the name for this, uh, they has a like a monkey head <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a monkey head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, interesting. Definitely, really, it's fascinating to see these subtle differences between uh -huh. plants. So, well. I think uh, we've learned a lot um, about these rare and wonderful plants uh, here in the South China National Botanical Garden. I hope you've learned just as much as I have, and I had such a wonderful time learning with you. Um, and you know, the World Economic Forum, I believe, uh, uh, sort of listed biodiversity loss as one of the top three global risks. So, you know, we're really racing against the clock to protect them. And I hope uh, if you have a chance to uh, to come and see these plants, do come. And uh, until then, thank you for joining us on the CGTN live stream. We'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.